In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this noisy silhouette effect in Adobe After Effects. Stay till the end of the video for a cool way to customize this effect. The project file is gonna be available in the description of this video if you wanna download it. Let's import our video footage into the timeline. I got this video from pexels.com. Then we're gonna select the Roto Brush tool to isolate the moving subjects. Double click on the layer to open it in a new tab here, and then start painting to make the selection. Hold the Option or Alt key while painting to remove from the selection. When you're done, you have these different settings at the bottom to toggle an alpha overlay. If you hit play, After Effects, it's gonna track the subjects frame by frame. My selection looks good, so I'll click here to hide the background. We still need a layer with the background though, so duplicate this layer and disable the roto brush effect on the bottom layer. Now let's go back to the composition tab. Select the top layer and in the effects and presets window, we're gonna add the following effects in this exact order. Fractal noise, tint, Radial Shadow, Luma Key, Add Grain, and Glow. Let's hide all the effects and navigate through them one by one. We're gonna start with Fractal Noise, here change the contrast to 200, then collapse the Evolution Options menu. Hold the Option or Alt key while clicking on the random seed stopwatch and type in Time Star 12. Then let's show the tint effect and replace black with the following hex color, 0F1E5F. Then replace white with this code. 414DC7. Next, enable Radial Shadow, click on the color picker, and select the brighter blue from the tint. Then change the opacity to 100, distance to 0, and softness to 30. Then we're gonna skip Luma Key, you'll see later why, and enable Add Grain. Change intensity to 4, size to 1.4, and softness to 0.8. Then in the color section, change the saturation to 1.5. Moving on to the glow effect, enable it and make the threshold something around 45, radius 70, and intensity 2. Now if we turn to the grain effect, the viewing mode is set to preview, and we have this rectangle that masks the effect only to this area. Change it to final output, so it applies to the whole layer. I want to make the background black and white, so for that, let's select the bottom layer. Search for tint in the effect effects and presets window and apply it. I want to make it darker, so for that search for brightness and contrast, I'll set the brightness to negative 50 and contrast to 41. Let's add some noise as well, but I just noticed that the noise effect is not as uniform as add grain, so instead I'll go to the layer above, copy the grain from there and paste it on the bottom layer. Make sure you check the monochromatic setting and reduce the intensity to 1. I'll also make the background photo a little darker. Now let's talk about Luma Key. This effect will basically mix the original video with the effect and create these spots on the subjects. If that's something you're looking for, you can copy these settings for the Luma Key effect. And now if we play the video, first without Luma Key, it's gonna look like this. And with the Luma Key enabled, it's gonna look like this. One last trick I want to show you is that you can change the fractal type of the fractal noise effect to customize the results. For example, Turbulent Sharp, it's going to make it look like this. If you want to learn more, don't miss the video on the screen that YouTube is recommending just for you. Thank you, and see you next time. This is Creative Society.